Okay, so guys, let's draw now the electron configuration for this anomalous filling um, atom chromium. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to hopefully I have enough room on this small board to draw the entire electron configuration or the entire electron diagram is what I really want to draw. Um, so we're going to start down here with the 1s, 2s. So I guess the first thing we should do is what is chromium's electron configuration? Let's draw that out. So, or what is what we predicted to be? 1s2, 2s2, you guys can help me if you want, 2p6, uh, 3s2, right? 3p6, 4s2, 3d4. Okay, that's what we would predict it to be, right? Okay, but in actuality, it's not. And let's just show how it, what it actually does, okay? So, 1s, 2s, 2p has three of them. 3s, 1, 3p, 4s, and then 3d. Okay, is everybody okay with that orbital diagram? So now let's fill it up. Okay, remember off bow principle, start at the bottom. Poly exclusion principle, the second one has to go upside down. Hun's rule, if we have degenerate orbitals, we fill them one at a time. Okay, so we, the last four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so remember I told you chromium is one of these anomalous fields. So what it actually does, and the reason being, like I said, is because half-field d orbitals subset is better than a non-half-field, okay, or more energetically stable, okay? So what? Um, chromium will do is it will take one of its 4s electrons, so one of these two electrons, and move it up into that 3d orbital, okay, to make it half filled. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? So again, it just is more stable to do this way, okay, and that's why, remember, that's why anything happens in chemistry, is because of stability. Okay? So what it will do is it will take, let's see if I have a different color pen somewhere. It'll take this second electron and move it to there. Okay, so let's just show that like that okay. and remove it from over here. <coughs> so it looks like that now. So notice it didn't, it kind of is anomalous, right? It doesn't uh, fill using the off bow principle. Okay? Why? Because the 4s isn't all filled up. So now, let's draw the real electron configuration for chrome. Okay? So most of it's the same, right? So you guys can help me if you want. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Well, what is this going to be now? 4s1, and this one? 3d5. Okay, copper does the same thing. Okay, copper does the same thing. Uh, molybdenum does the same thing. Silver does the same thing, and gold does the same thing. Okay, let's do copper's configuration now. Okay, let's just just to just to show, right? This is not the right configuration for chromium. This is the right configuration for chromium. Okay, so instead of chromium, now let's look at copper. Okay, so. Can I erase these electron configurations up here? Does anybody have a problem with that? Okay, so instead of chromium, we're going to look at copper now. So let's just erase this, these. Okay, so we're at four. So let's draw the electron configuration that copper should be first, okay? So what is it? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 
6, 3s, 2, 3p, 6, 4s, 2, 3d, 9, right? 3d, 9. Does everybody understand that? Just by looking at the periodic table, right? Okay, so we've got up to 4s1, so we've got to put our 4s2 in there now, right? And then put our 3d9. So let's do that by um, using uh, all of our rules, right? Off, bow, hunts, poly exclusion. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like that. So that would is copper is that would be no, copper's normal electron configuration. But copper is one of these anomalous filling um, elements, right? So what is it like to do? Well, because it's one away from having a full D shell, and remember when you have a full D shell, you become very very stable. So what it does is it takes that 4s electron and moves it up into its. Uh, 3D subset, subshells. Okay, is everybody okay with that? So let's just show that here. Like that. And now let's show what its real electron configuration is. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, what is this? 4s1 and 3d10. Okay. Is everybody okay with doing this? So again, you've got to remember those five atoms that do this. Okay. Or just remember that um, tungsten doesn't do this with that W. Right? Questions on this? Can I kill it? Okay.